It was a gridiron battle between the service academies, and their battleground was Mikey Stadium in West Point. So what was on the line? The Commander-in-Chief's trophy. The Army Black Knights played host to the Air Force Falcons this beautiful fall afternoon, but home field advantage just wasn't in their favor. The Falcons defeated the Army Black Knights 31-12. to After the game, I spoke with Falcons sophomore quarterback, Arion Worthman, who just two weeks ago was a backup quarterback, and now two weeks later is a top performer in the Mountain West. To get this win at Army, to clinch the Commander-in-Chief's trophy, with you at the forefront of the offense, how are you feeling? It was pretty awesome today. Um, you know, Coach Thiessen put in a great game plan this week. You know, he came in on Wednesday in the meetings. He was like, guys, I feel really good about this game plan. And um, we were able to come out and execute today. You know, the offensive line did a great job. You know, the running backs ran hard. Jalen went up and made some plays for us. And uh, it was just awesome today. You came in midway through the third quarter at the Fresno State game. You had 102 rushing yards, but made no attempts at passing. Today, you made nine attempts, completed six. What was the difference in your game? Um, I think, you know, last week, just getting thrown in the fire, you know, we were just doing what, what worked, and the, you know, the run plays were working, and we just kind of stuck with it. And, you know, we were coming off a three-game losing streak, so whatever we needed to do, we just did it to get the win and get out of there. But, you know, this week we had a full week of preparation, we were able to prepare, and, you know, came out and executed today. Speaking of preparation, how do you prepare for a game against another service academy? How different is it in terms of just a regular game? Uh, you know, you try to prepare for each game the same, but everyone knows these games, you know, a little bit, you know, more at stakes. But, um, you know, just try to relax, you know, just try to go out and practice, execute the game plan, you know, and continue to peak up to game time. And, and uh, I think we're able to do that today. Is it easy to get distracted, though, with all the hoopla during the week? Um, you know, a little bit, but, you know, I think, you know, we got a lot of mature guys on the team, you know, a lot of senior leadership, and, you know, they're able to help me out and keep me focused, and I think, you know, the seniors on this team really stepped up today and got us a win. You guys, this is your second win for you guys. You guys dropped three last week. This is your second win in a row, excuse me. What adjustments did you guys make for these past two, two games that you guys won that really helped you out? Um, I think, you know, we just kind of got the offense rolling. I mean, you know, not really much... Um, as far as adjustments, I think it's just, you know, just executing, you know, guys making their blocks, you know, running backs, quarterbacks and fullbacks, everyone running hard and, you know, wide receivers, you know, making plays when we ask them to and tight ends as well. And I think it's just, you know, just execution and, you know, just, you know, getting getting some momentum going and keep it going. Congratulations on the win again. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Air Force wins their second game in a row, making their record six and three. They are now bowl eligible. They are at home next week against in-state rival Colorado State. The Black Knights are now 5-4 and four on the season and still searching for that sixth win to make them bowl eligible. They are on the road next week against the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame in San Antonio, Texas. From Mikey Stadium at the United States Military Academy, I'm Lauren Fody for a lot of sports talk.